Creating success by optimizing your health. This is a learning session brought to you by Upascent with Roberto Hoshier. Did I say that right? You said that perfect. Perfect. So, Roberto, if I am going to introduce you, I would say you're a startup founder, you're a multiple business owner, you're a fitness and health coach, you're influencer, model, a pretty much a man of, of many talents. But if you were to introduce yourself, how would you do that? I would say, first of all, it's, it's a pleasure being here, guys. It's really, really uh, been looking forward to this podcast for so long. I'm, uh, I'm Roberto. I am a uh, founder of ManLab, which is currently my and uh, my two other founding members' biggest focus, uh, which is all about optimizing testosterone in men. The best way I could probably introduce myself being probably the simplest way as well is, is just a very, very curious guy. That is, um, that's probably the best way I can introduce myself purely because I'm involved in so many different things mm -hmm. and it would be impossible for me to label myself as, as one thing. Of course, uh, modeling was a huge part of my career, but I've never been able to label myself as a model. I would say I probably labeled myself as a footballer because that was my initial passion. And that is why I initially moved to the UK from, um, from Romania to, to pursue. Um, fortunately that didn't turn out too well due to some, some injuries turned to modeling, but, uh, yeah, essentially just a very, very curious guy, I would say. So in terms of your journey, mm. you kind of touched on it a little bit, but just a real quick overview from the footballing days until now. So I grew up in Romania. I am half Romanian, half Arabic. My dad moved uh, over to Romania for to to study medicine. Met my mum there, had me, and um, I grew up there. I spent most of my childhood there until eleven years old. I had a pretty tough uh, childhood there um, because of the the nature of a country like Romania. Mm -hmm. Growing up there, football is all I ever dreamed about. Everything I ever did, I ever started playing at the age of five years old. Um, growing up with football there was extremely challenging because of the approach to, to coaching. Um, different coaches is not the most, uh, not, not the best way to, to bring up, to bring up kids into, into the sport, but ended up playing for one of the best teams in Romania wanted to pursue it. My, my new, my parents knew it's not, Romania is not a place necessarily, the best place to pursue a football career and moved to the UK when I was uh, 11 years old. Mm -hmm. I didn't know any English. It was definitely a very, very tough experience moving from, from Romania to, to the UK. Playing for some good clubs, ended up at Stockport County. Uh, really, really unlucky, ended up tearing my ACL after uh, some other previous injuries that have been holding me back just as I was going for my pro contract. Um, ended up getting scouted to model. Never thought of myself as a model ever. Never thought I would have a model within a week of getting scouted. I just jumped straight in and then pursued it. So I was quite lucky that as soon as my football career ended, that started. Modeled for some of the biggest brands in the world, to be fair. So I'm really fortunate about- What sort of brands? Brands like D Squared, Puma, ASOS, Boohoo, uh, JD Sports, For Asylum, Umbro, Everlast. I could go on and on, quite quite a few, quite a lot of brands. Okay, so then after the modeling, when I look at you, I never think, or when we have conversations, I never think anything to do with modeling. Like there's so much other stuff going on as well. So I'm guessing modeling's where it started, but then how did you progress from there into everything else, every other endeavor that you've got? So modeling opened some huge doors for me. That being said, I think the best, the best thing that I subconsciously did was never label myself as a model, which allowed me to pursue um, and explore these doors that I opened for me. I always saw modeling as a stepping stone and I managed my money very well 
from, um, from that I made from modeling, always looking at ways to invest and educate myself and connect with the right people. Um, so modeling for me was always just a way to build up my image, to kind of get some status and connect with the, with the right people um, and kind of have, because as you grow up as a young as a young individual, you're, it's kind of hard to get taken seriously unless you have some sort of some sort of status. And modeling for big brands for me, it, it did provide some sort of status. It's kind yeah. of shallow to, to say, but being connected and linked to so many huge brand brands and brand owners kind of gives you some uh, some kind of status. So I was able to use that into everything that I wanted to do, into investment, into into property and going into business, care homes, and so on. Which I'm sure we're going to get into yeah. a lot later on in this uh, learning session. And there's a lot there, but if you had to kind of tell me what your passion is, or mm. a couple of your passions I think we've already spoke about, let's more go along the lines of purpose. Like, have you worked out why you're here yet? Are you still on that discovery path? What does that look like to you um, as we sit here today? I would say I, I can't put my finger on one specific thing that, that drives me. Of course, one of them is fulfillment, not just for myself, but to make my family proud, I would say that is one of the biggest things. But on that route, I want to do this by changing as many lives as possible. Um, that is what drives me. I think that is my purpose. I want to achieve success through ways that can positively impact the world and the people around me. I want to be able to um, show people how they can optimize their lifestyle, not just their, not just their lives, but their performance, their energy levels, um, just the quality of their life, I would say. That really, really fulfills me and, and drives me. I think that's why we get on so well. <laughs> Most I have likely. something similar, but trying to do that uh, through education mm -hmm. and as we're going to learn throughout this learning session you're doing that through other ways whether it's health nutrition businesses within those areas as well so yeah let's get into it let's go excited